What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Steven Turner with Turner Fishing. So it's been a while since I've done one of these Lake Mary reports. So we're going to dive right in and check it out. So the way I like to do these reports is it's whatever I'm seeing on Facebook, whatever I'm seeing on YouTube with my other fellow local YouTubers. So that's what I'm going based off. If it's not true, let me know down in the comments below so I can correct that for next week if I can get on the rhythm of doing these every week if y'all like them so the, the way to let me know if you like these reports is smash that thumbs up and leave a comment down below I'm a little out of breath I've been shooting a couple more videos for y'all we're over a thousand now this time for the push so I'm gonna be pushing out content so first off let's start with something I'm I'm familiar with but not a hundred percent on uh, these reports are probably two weeks old so bluegill that'll be your shell cracker bluegill red sunfish and perch 25 foot off points with uh, red, red wigglers that's my report on that with uh, like a split shot or Carolina rig get out there on the point anger down see if you can't catch a big old slab speaking of slabs crappy uh, the weather the weather's cooling off so in the next couple days which I'll, I'll go into when we start talking about the bass fishing here in a minute but the next couple days see it's gonna be hot during the day but if that nighttime temperature is getting down in the 60s that water temp is gonna be coming down so the deeper crappy are gonna be pushing up to some shallower brush and the shallower crappy are gonna be where they're at now for the most part I mean there, there is some fish that's going to stay deep and that's going to be the best bite coming in probably late October around November you'll start catching them on you know like really deep like like 30 foot brush piles really good I mean they're going to be stacked in there the water's done cooled off a little bit so they're going to be good to eat and not mushy so stay tuned for those videos uh if you want to, you can check out last year's videos around the end of October, and I probably caught five or six limits on video within the course of two weeks. Like every like every time I went, I would catch a limit really fast too. It was like two hours. Stripers, stripers are destroying a flutter spoon right now into the creeks, um, towards the dam. I mean, you can catch a lot of shorts under like big mans are around blacks with a spoon but most of them are you know in, into the creeks up towards the dam if you want to see how to catch it with a flutter spoon i highly suggest check, checking out steve Cumberlander's videos he's i mean he's a funny dude he talks a lot he takes you fishing with him i mean his videos are 40 minutes long so shout out to steve he'll show you how to use a flutter spoon look him up on youtube he's got a lot of stuff on lake murray now and a lot a lot of good perch videos on monticello all right let's get into the need of the crop large mouth bass what are they doing you see this right here it's little bitty cotton cordial give it two weeks and that thing right there it's just gonna chomp 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 you gonna catch some daggone biggins too biggins so like i was saying with the crappy fishing sunday the low for sunday is 62. now this is at night okay you start getting in them 60s that water is gonna drop below 80 and you're gonna have a reversal the water's gonna turn over the bottom bite's gonna get better again because I mean, honestly, guys, I haven't caught a good fish off a Texas rig in probably two months. Caught some dinks, but I haven't caught a good fish off a Texas rig around docks and stuff in two months. And I believe it's because the water ain't turned over. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a river fisherman. Y'all got to keep that in mind, guys. I don't fish towards the dam very much. So, my report right now, they're chasing these ball of shad which I went into a lot of detail on my how to catch topwater fish videos I released last week so if you want to check that out but these ball of shad were out deep in the, in the cooler water 
All right, the thermocline rose because we got so hot. The balls of shad were going into 10 foot. And now that the water's cooling off, they can actually venture back into the creeks. So take your electronics, use your eyes, find these balls of shads going into the creek and find which section of the creek they're at. Target everything around that section of the creek. And I'm sure you'll catch a big, uh, no, I'm not going to say you're going to catch a big bag, but you should be able to catch a, a few bass doing it that way. Uh, look for schoolers throwing a, a Berkeley cane popper. Uh, lipless crankbaits were really good. And for a bottom, I mean, depending on how deep they are, you can try a Texas rig if the water turns over. We'll know in the upcoming weeks. I'll try to keep posting these videos regularly. Like I said, it's anything I see on Facebook or any, any fishing thing I'm in around the globe. So just keep at it, guys. It's been a rough summer for bass fishing. Uh, there's some people out there saying they're catching them, but I really doubt that they're catching them, catching them. Even uh, Joey, sad fishing. I mean, he, he's been struggling. I've been struggling. My brother's been struggling. Pretty much anybody I've talked to has been struggling, but the struggle ends in about a couple weeks from now. We get these low temperatures, we're going to start catching them. But like I said in the beginning, guys, if you want more videos like this, hit that thumbs up. Let me know down below. Make sure you're subscribed so when I do release them, you can check them out. But I'll catch y'all later.